flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And this video right here is going to be about be careful what space, aka your spirit, what spiritual space, esoteric location that you are in when you're trying to manifest, aka materialize, or even down to the fact of having children. Because this is what you need to understand. The space that you are in, it's going to be your spirit. And what you formulate within that space is going to represent where you at spiritually as an individual space, which is a soul. And the form that you represent there is going to be your awareness, your thoughts and your feelings. And then that's going to bend in and become your actions and the people, places and things that you have manifested in your life to keep that thing going. Even if it's something that you don't know at the jump is get ready to not go in your favor. And being in certain spaces and then trying to direct your energy towards things that you do want to go in your favor or even have children and things of that nature can muddy the waters and you could kind of spoil your opportunities or create blockages or tower moments for yourself. Not doing enough shadow work or clearing up or switching esoteric locations, putting your spirit in a better space, which that's what your spirit is, so you can have better awarenesses to develop as mentalities to see better paths and directions in your physical life. Now, here's the thing. Even when you're having children or when you're sharing a business or partnership or whatever like that, you want to make sure everybody is sharing a similar space, a spiritual group in a spiritual space. Because here's the thing, when you're in a negative space, then for the most part, the awarenesses you create there can give awareness to new spirits, new individual spirits that can be separated in each fart cloud that you create as a thought and feeling in a fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. And the spaces that become aware and as spirits, now they could be aware that they're individual spirits, which are souls, in each of these fart clouds. And now they can play out the natural space that they're comfortable with. And if you was in a negative space and you're given awareness or helping the awareness of new spirits to come into this world from that space, then this is a teamwork makes the dream work of negativity and energy being developed in the world from negative spirits, creating negative mentalities and blood cells and forms to come in this world. So, you know, if you're not having sex a lot, this could become your circumstances and your situations. So your event that you experience, all of us as spirits, first body is the mind. So a world to be inside of, to be aware is your first body. So that a situation itself will be the body of a spirit a space that you share and you're getting help with the interaction of energy that y'all you you guys are developing and the more you act out those natures in your similar way the more that the space that became aware as an individual spirit now a soul can cling on to them desires in its own will from its own observation and then that plays out as your scenarios that you create in your life as a circumstance or situation and if you're having sex enough one of these spaces could get trapped into the awareness that became condensed so much as a fleshly fluid within you and male or female become um, the character that's inside of the sperm cell, the egg cell. So a lot of times this is how you bring very negative or rebellious children down here and things of that nature based upon having sex spiritually out of a negative space. And a lot of times when you're having sex out of necessity of needing your itch scratched, or out of lust, a lot of times sex get replaced for uh, insecurity or vulnerability. And when you're having sex for that energy, by def or if you're having sex in that energy, by default, you're automatically in a negative space without even thinking about it. Because whatever you're doing as a ritual and spell with your body and the witchcraft on your mind is doing something to make you feel good. But you're living backwards, so you're doing it based upon what you're, what you're using in a one, two, and third dimension via person, place, or thing. And then you're utilizing that to suit a thought or feeling. And this thought or feeling was on the main premise of an insecurity or a vulnerability or a lacking of something. And a lot of times when you're in that space, you create a lot of negative situations amongst yourself and others that may be chaotic. And you might, if you're having sex enough, have children with that with the space trapped inside of that mental form and a physical form and now you have a living representation of that energy that you help make so and this goes for your manifestations and your that slash you trying to materialize 
So if you're in a negative space, but you're trying to do something creative, you might create blockages in your creativity due to the fact of adding too much forms of energies of proving something, uh, 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 something that's negative, something that's dealing with ugliness that God don't like, something that's besides the matter of what God actually or all possibilities wants you to participate in. But when you're in the right space and things of that nature, you're able to create the right forms there to make spirits that represent that space be aware when they get trapped in those spark clouds to be aware to separate their space from another space. And depending on which ones you're choosing, that's most sufficient to your natural spiritual group. Then for the most part, teamwork makes the dream work and it could become your scenario or it could become your children. And for the most part, that's why I said when you make sure you're in a clear comfort zone of your space that you could develop abilities and things of that nature and meditate when you're catering to your creative gifts and talents. And anytime you're going through a depressing space or whatever like that, make sure you have the ability to transform that energy so it can be transmuted and directed into the area that you're comfortable at. Not letting that energy drift you away from the area that you could have that comfort uh, ability uh, time and space for God, all possibilities. And for the most part, be careful with space that you are in as a spirit, individual spirit, which is a soul. Be careful with space that you are in when you're trying to manifest, materialize, or even down to having children. Like boss bitch, you know, for sure.